I had no contact with my mom like three years ago. I have a video on my YouTube as to why I had to like make that decision for myself. There was never a point in that three years that I missed her or craved anything from her because honestly, I lived in the same house as this woman. We had no connection. If she's in the bedroom, I'm in the living room. If she's in the living room, I'm in the bedroom. Not because I, I don't like her. Well, actually, at this point, I, I really fucking don't. Um, it's because as a mother, you're the one that's supposed to cultivate a relationship. She, ha We have no relationship. She dropped me off everywhere that was open and possible. So I, when I went no contact, when she was going around telling people that she was playing a victim, like I just laughed. She don't know the devil is at work. No fucking accountability whatsoever. This lady was sitting around spreading negative conversation relatively of me pretending like something is has gone wrong with me for me not talking to you like it's some strange shit like we'd be in the same house and i still don't fucking talk to you <laughs> like what the fuck uh and then even to the point where people were like oh we should look for her on the fbi website pretending like i died or some shit pretending to people like i died or god forbid something happened to me just being a fucking victim in her own life zero accountability because to her in her mind she did nothing wrong she she's so confused oh my god oh my god the person that i mentally physically and emotionally ab abuse and abandon don't want to speak to me as an adult no accountability on her part which is always, which is also a form of witchcraft because you're sending me death spell. You're, you're pretending to people like I died or something bad has happened to me. And I'm pretty sure she's fucking aware of what she's doing. And it's crazy. Only to come to find out, this woman knew exactly where I was. My apartment, my, my apartment that I lived in is her freaking Wi-Fi password. If I tell people, if I go into details about them, I sound crazy but this is what happens when someone tries to do root walk on you and in hopes that you are weak-minded enough to lose your mind and they could play victim and be like oh look at this person and they were sending me death spells and all that stuff life is always happening for you and not to you you always have to keep a positive perspective because if you let outside forces and energy and negativity take your mind you get to let them take everything else from you because if, without you having your mind together you can't possibly process things properly